Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, before I begin this lesson, I would like to say so-called white people, they are of the nation of Edom. When you go into the book of Genesis, I believe it's the 36th chapter, it tells you that Esau is Edom. Anybody who is, this, who is a descendant of Edom will be a, 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 a Edomite, all right, who eat, in which Esau is called Edom. Okay, which uh, the Arabs, they are the biblical Ishmaelites. The East Indians are the Biblical Elamites. The Africans are the Biblical Hamites. The Chinese people are the Biblical Moabites. The Japanese people are the Biblical Ammonites. The Hawaiians are the Biblical Japhites. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, you are the Biblical Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. So everybody I listed earlier has a biblical nationality. And man, let me tell you something. I am sick and tired of this kingdom known as Babylon in the Holy Scriptures. And man, I am looking forward to the day when, when Yahweh Shai return and we can finally get the fuck out of this kingdom. So I'm sick of this goddamn place. You got to deal with spies. You 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 got to you know deal deal with going to work every day. You got to deal with feeling all groggy and, and tired, far more than normal. You got to deal with getting up in the morning. You know and. As an Israelite, one thing you got to understand is that you are a, a, a slave in the oppressor's kingdom. And you, you have to do what the oppressor say. Because if you don't do what the oppressor says, then what happens? You risk losing your job. You risk you and your family being homeless on the streets. You risk being homeless yourself. You might even experience garnished wages. You know, in and, and, and the wickedest kingdom, you got to deal with all manner of unrighteous decrees, such as draconian V mandates. You know, you, you got to deal with disrespectful people calling you the N-word and, and things like that. But let me tell you something. The good news is that Yahweh's return is near and soon will be in the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven, that is that is our rest, not this kingdom. This kingdom sucks. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm going to be blunt with it. This kingdom sucks. But, you know, you, you got the two thirds of our people who, who want to stay here in, in this place. It, you know, it's like 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 what, what the well, what's wrong with you, Jakes? What's wrong with you? How could you not want the kingdom of heaven? In the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites are going to have slaves. And the top slaves they're going to have in the kingdom of heaven is the nation of Edom. Of course, they're going to have every other nation as slaves in the kingdom of heaven. But the main slaves that the Israelites are going to have in the kingdom of heaven is the nation of Edom. Anybody who come from the line of Edom is going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven.
So if you look like an Edomite, you better pray and hope that that you're not an Edomite because in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be a slave. And that's prophecy according to the scriptures. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Now, is that talking about the Lord's going to blow up the whole galaxy and shit? And then he's going to recreate everything? No. The new heavens and the new earth is going to be established here on the planet Earth. And it's going to start with when Yahweh returns and he delivers his elect men. Every single day, the Lord's elect is sighing and crying for, for this kingdom to be done away with. Matter of fact. There's a scripture on that. Bear with me for one moment, please. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 14. The captive exile, okay, exile, what does it mean by exile? It means that as a nation of people, as a whole, we have been exiled from our country. What is our land? Our land is the land of Israel. So we are the captives that have been exiled from our land. Who exiled us from our land? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai did. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still some people amongst our nation living in, in, in the land of Israel. But for the most part, it's mostly heathens living over there in the land of Israel, especially them fake ass Jews. OK, they're not the real Jews, according to the Holy Scriptures. And a matter of fact, the word Jew is short for Judah. So if you don't come from the line of Judah, you're not a Jew. Don't people call them, uh, uh, the, okay, the vast majority of them people calling themselves Jewish in the land of Israel, they are, they are descendants of Amalek. Amalek is a descendant of Esau. So, those, so the, the vast majority of them people calling themselves Jewish in the land of Israel are not Jewish. They are descendants of Esau. Isaiah 51 verse 14, the captive exile hasteth that he may be loosed, loosed, freed, freed from what? From captivity and that he sh should not die in the pit, in the system, nor that his bread should fail. So the Lord's elect is, is constantly, if not this, if, 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 if not physically, then we know their spirits is crying unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to be freed from this damn kingdom. This kingdom is more worthless than spit. Because it's being ruled by people that's more worthless than spit. That's why the whole earth is all jacked up. Damn chemtrails in the air. You got to deal with GMO foods. GMO grass, GMO trees, GMO people, GMO animals. Everything is, is fucking GMO. The water that come out of your faucet is made from Teflon. 
in which Teflon comes from a chemical known as PFOA, which is an acronym for perfluorooctanic acid, a chemical known for causing hypertension in pregnancy, deficiency of the brain, osteoporosis, bone deteriorating disease, another leading cause of cancer. And if you thought that was bad, wait until you find out what they actually put in the water that come out of your faucet. There's microcosmic shrimp in your, in, 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 in your drinking water. There's feces in, in, in your drinking water, whether if you believe it or not. And then they put chlorine in your, in, in, in your drinking water to, to, to justify killing off the majority of the bacteria that's coming out of your drinking water. That's why I don't even drink water to come out of the damn faucets anymore. If I don't have any water, if I don't have any water in my house and I'm thirsty, I'll go on a water fast. Because I ain't drinking that shit. And yeah, I don't care if I sound bitter. Because I am bitter. I'm sick of this kingdom. But soon, the captives are going to be the new rulers of this planet, starting with the Lord's elect. Now, I'm not saying I'm of the elect. I'm not saying I'm a man of the Lord either. I'm not calling myself a prophet. I'm talking about the Lord's elect, whosoever they may be out there. I'm talking about the Lord's prophets, whosoever they may be out there. I'm talking about the Lord's servants, the true men of the Lord, whosoever they may be out there. The ones that are following the same doctrines and teachings as the apostles of Great Millstone. I'm talking about the Lord's elect. When Yahweh shall come back, he's coming back to redeem them. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh, Bashom Yahweh Shai, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Who trouble us? The heathens in this kingdom. The heathens in this kingdom trouble us. And who are the heathens? I'm talking about the, the, the heathen nations. If you're not an Israelite, you are a heathen. If your father's lineage on your father's side does not go back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, you are a heathen. According to the Holy Scriptures. So seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So recompense is coming for you heathens. For everything you have done to us on this side, it's going to be done to you in the kingdom of heaven. Except we're not going to do any manner of wickedness in the kingdom of heaven. We're not going to be uh, buck breaking our slaves. We're not going to be we're not going to be taking our slaves women and having our way with them. We're not going to be committing murder. We're not going to be committing pedophilia. Like the nation of Edom does. In a matter of fact, King David gave, gave us a perfect example of that because all manner of atrocities happened to us during the time of slavery. Derby's dose, 
they will have another slave doodle it in the mouth of another slave. And then they'll put, put a strap a device to the slave's mouth so, so he couldn't throw up the shit that was in his mouth. And he was just left there to, to, to gag and, and throw up all over himself for hours. And how come they did that to Derby? Because he was caught eating sugar canes out in the field because he was hungry. They will work slaves to death. On some accounts, they will have slaves out there in the slave field working for three days, no food or water. In the wintertime, they will have slaves sleeping in cabin with with super thin blankets. You thought that was enough to keep them warm in the wintertime? The Trail of Tears. They will have the uh, the uh, the so-called native Indians of this land walking for miles in the snow, either barefoot, either barefooted or or, or with uh, sandals on their feet, having to relocate from one state to another. You want to know why it was called the Trail of Tears? Because a lot of our people died off in that fucking cold. They died because their body had little to no protection against the cold. Their, their foot will, will freeze up, which will prevent them from being able to walk anymore in the snow. You try walking barefooted in the snow, outside in the cold for 10 minutes, and that should give you a good idea of what the so-called native Indians of this land had to go through. When the conquistadors and the Spaniards first came over here, they was taking the pregnant women of so-called native Indian women. And they would take a knife and they would rip open the belly of, of, of the woman. They would take out the baby and they would stump the baby, uh, uh, crush the baby in the ground. The babies that were already born, they would take the babies by the legs and they would literally slam them against stones. Bear with me for one moment. Almost there. King David said it best. Okay, there, there, there is no true justice in this society. You know what true justice is? An, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a hand for a hand, a life for a life. Okay, the police commit murder and and, and they, they they still get to walk around and shit on paid leave, uh, having to and, and enjoy the rest of their life with their family while 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 the government pays for their needs. You call that justice? That's not an eye for an eye. That's not a two for a tooth. That's not a hand for a hand. That's not a leg for a leg. That's not a life for a life. Here it is. Jay Jake was still a candy bar because he, he's fucking starving and shit. And he'll be sitting in prison for 15 to 30 years. But let a so-called white person pull out a, a gun on a bunch of cops and threaten to shoot them. But he don't do it. Not only will his life be spared, he'll get a slap on the wrist. Hey, look, we we understand you was angry and you was armed at the time and you were not thinking this time we'll let you off. But the next time you do that again, 
there's going to be repercussions. Do you understand? That's exactly what he's going to hear in court. But let a nigga do that. His ass will be back in the spirit world quicker than two megatons of air can enter his nose. From breathing. Here it is. Your video will get flagged for hate speech, right? And you'll just be talking about prophecies that's going to play out here on the planet Earth, according to the Holy Scriptures. Meanwhile, there, there's thousands of videos on YouTube of, of uh, crackers going on a racist rant about N-I-G-G-E-R-S. And those videos have hundreds of thousands of views, and those videos will never get flagged or taken down. By YouTube's algorithms. But YouTube's algorithms is programmed to take down a, a video whenever they hear the word uh, Edomite. I'm not going to say the full word, but you get you know what I'm talking about. Edomite. Okay. For I don't care. Edomite. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 9. No, 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 Slot. Hold on. Let me go back. It's 137. The book of Psalm, chapter 137, verse 9. No, I'll start at 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Okay, oh man, oh man. The elect is going to be happy when that day comes, man. When that day comes. All these people who say that they're just mad, that they're just ashamed to be Africans. That's why they call themselves Hebrew Israelites. You dumb, you dumb simpleton. The Hebrew Israelites do not consist of just black people. The Hebrew Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. You dumb fucking monkey. There's Israelites that look like the people of the other nations. Why? Because that goes back to the curses that the Lord put on the Israelites. When he said that Israel will be scattered on the four corners of the earth. If your father's lineage on your father's side goes back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, you are an Israelite regardless of what you look like. Because your father's lineage on your father's side goes back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian. Period. Okay, verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes dash of thy little ones against the stone. Yeah, that's going to that's going to happen. At, that's going to happen on the super all time high in the kingdom of heaven. Thy little ones is going to be dashed against the stones, just like you did our Israelite babies. Yeah. Remember when you took our Israelite babies and you fed them to alligators? You used them as alligators to uh, as alligator bait to catch alligators so you can. Make leather uh, uh, material out of them. Leather chairs, leather jackets, leather shoes. Hmm. You remember that? So the same thing is going to happen to 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 the same thing is going to happen to the nation of Edom's babies in the kingdom of heaven in, in the kingdom of heaven. OK, if you're of the nation of Edom, you're going to get it the worst in the kingdom. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 18. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. 
This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 18, verse six. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in a cup which she had filled to her double. Yeah, you, you, you motherfuckers like love to have us getting up early as hell in the morning just to work for your little stinking dusty ass. Well, guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to make you get up twice as early. It'd be a miracle if you, if you can even work as slaves in the kingdom of heaven. It'd be a miracle. Because we're going to, because outside of the Sabbath, outside of the Sabbath, we're going to work your ass to the bone, boy. We're going to work you to the bone. You're going to be living on a hey, hey, Lord's will. If I'm of the elect, my slaves is literally going to be living on two hours of sleep. And if you catch me on a good day, maybe I'll give you and an, 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 maybe I'll give you an extra 30 minutes. Uh, so that'd be the maximum would be what? Two hours and 30 minutes of sleep. And then you and then it's going to be your turn to wake up feeling all tired and groggy. And don't expect any good food to eat in the kingdom either because you're getting fed roaches, beetles. Worms, maggots. And it's going to come to the it's going to come to you in the form of slop. So it's going to look like some some creamy buggy shit. That's what my Lord's will, if I'm of the elect, that's what my slaves are going to eat in the kingdom. You think you're going to be eating, you, 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 you people of the nation to eat them. You think you're going to be eating fried chicken and, and steak and, and lamb and all those delicious foods in the kingdom. You think you're going to be drinking Kool-Aid and juice? Hell nah. You're going to be drinking your own piss if you want to uh, keep yourself uh, from dying of thirst. You're going to get it twice as bad. This is the book of Lamentations 4 verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The cup represents slavery. What scripture was that? Was that in uh Hold on. Bear with me for one moment. Okay, so slavery is going to be passed down unto you. Now, just real quick, I would like to get this in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Right. It was not of our judgment to drink, drink of a cup of slavery. But because judgment, because uh, prophecy had to play out. Well, here we are in captivity. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Hell no. OK, that's a question. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Thou shalt surely drink of it. And here's the proof right here. 
because prophecy is written all throughout the Holy Scriptures. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. We're being devoured right now. And a matter of fact, I got a precept to that. Bear with me for one moment. This is the book of Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. What? Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're in our rest. You know, we can wake up and party every day. We can run red lights without having to worry about being pulled over. We, 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 we don't have to, you know, buy a plane ticket just to get on a plane and go, go to visit family members or, or to see brothers. You know, uh, of course, it don't cost money to get on the bus. Of course, we're not being pulled over by the police. Nah, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. And that is why we are constantly being harassed by the police. That is why we are constantly being harassed by our higher ups. That is why we are constantly being harassed by our bosses. This is why we are constantly being harassed by bill collector and, and text collectors. This is why we're constantly being harassed by heathens, especially heathens who want to set up shops in our neighborhoods and then look down on us, looking at us like, like, like we're a bunch of degenerates that, that all we do is run around, steal, and cause trouble. Nah, that's the two-thirds of our people. Don't try to equate that with the Lord's elect. Because the Lord's elect is not going to go around acting like that, especially in, in times like these. And if they are, the Lord is going to wake them up out of that state and they're going to repent from their iniquities and they're going to come back to their power and the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And once the Lord's and once all of, and once the Lord's elect has been sealed, that is it for you heathens. You're going to get a foot in your ass. So you better tremble when your Hawashai come back because that's your number one symbol of slavery right there. Because your Hawashai, he's going to get the first slice of the cake and putting you heathens in slavery, starting with the nation to eat them. And then his elect men, which are going to be joined heirs with him. They're also, they're, then, then they're going to get their share. Then they're going to have their share of putting you heathens in slavery. So that, that, that 1,000 year period that's spoken of in Revelation chapter 20 verse 4, that's talking about Yahweh and his elect men putting you heathens in slavery, starting with the nation of Edom. And during that 1,000 year period, it's going to be nothing but pure fun for the Lord's elect. It's going to be fun beating the, the shit out of you heathens. We're going to have fun with you heathens. At Lord's will, if we're of the elect, we're going to have spiritual power. So guess what? We're, we're going to be able to create monsters just by snapping our fingers. We're going to create monstrous apparitions out of thin air to scare the fuck out of you heathens. We're going to have you run, run, running, running through the woods, pissing and shitting on yourself. You're going to be scared out of your mind. You're going to be afraid to sleep in your own pit because you, you're not going to know if, if some kind of monster is going to go down there and whoop your ass before he eats you alive. You and your damn children. OK. We're going to take you in that outer space. We're going to take you to 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 we man. I'm telling you, man, we're going to fly y'all asses around the sun. And, 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 and when and, and, and when we take you into so-called space, you're not going to receive a space suit either. And we're going to make it to where your spirit is going to stay in your body while you're out there. 
Okay. Just as the nation of Edom had a transatlantic to a trans-Pacific slave trade, well, guess what? We're going to have inter. We're going to have international space uh, 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 slave trade. We're going to have an international space slave trade. OK, if, if something needs to be done on, on, on another planet and Lord's will, we're allowed to take you to another planet. Then guess what? We're going to take your ass to another planet. We're going to have you be, build things there, too. OK, and not a single one of you slaves is getting paid to, to build up the kingdom of heaven either. In the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed. Twice the amount of bloodshed that has ever happened to the children of Israel. So we are yet this day in our captivity. And even at this very moment, according to the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and the 16th verse, we are still being devoured in the presence of our enemies. We are still this day in our captivity. And that's according to the book of Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries, every one of them. Who's our adversaries? An adversary is your enemy. If you're an Israelite, you're supposed to know that you have enemies on this planet. Your own, if you're an Israelite, your own nation is not your enemy. These heathens are your enemy. Now, don't get me wrong. The Lord's elect also have enemies amongst amongst the nation of Israel because the scriptures say so. And the two thirds of you niggas, you're you're our enemies. You're 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 our enemies, too. It is because of you that we're still here in captivity. Are you aware that is written in the Holy Scriptures. I believe it's in the book of Second Chronicles. It says that if all of Israel was to repent from their iniquities, if all of Israel was to repent from their iniquities and face the east and call on Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, don't you know Yahweh Shai will come back that exact day? Don't you know Yahweh Shai will come back that exact day in the kingdom of heaven? We, we, we would literally be liberated from, from our oppressors. You'd be free. Niggas always love talking about Dragon Ball Z and spiritual power, man. I wish I could do that. Well, if you want to, then repent. A nigga expect to fly and shoot fireballs out of his hands like what they see in movies. But but you don't want to repent. You don't want to get right with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So don't expect spiritual power on this side. OK, the Lord ain't giving you niggas shit except for evil, death and destruction. That's all you're getting. Like it tells you in the book of Psalms, chapter, the, the, the 91st chapter, only with thine eyes shalt thou be, behold and see the reward of the wicked. The Lord's got some devastatingly terrifying things waiting for the two thirds of our people. Monstrous apparitions. The Lord has given the so-called white man the, the intelligence and technology to create newly created beasts. Just watch the movie Cabin in the Woods. Since you niggas love watching thrilling movies, watch the, watch the movie Cabin in the Woods. They got all kinds of newly created beasts and, and, and monsters just waiting for you niggas. Movies like The Mist, the Lord is going to open up uh, uh, Lord's Lord's will. The Lord is going to open up certain dimensions and, 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 and allow and 
and allow outer worldly creatures to enter this world to, 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 to jack you people up, man. Okay? The most terrifying things that you people are afraid of. The Lord, the Heavenly Father and His Son is going to bring it upon you people. Like in that movie, Case 39. All right? That this little girl, she, she, she had the ability to bring people's most worst fears upon them and kill them by their own fears. Well, the Lord's going to do that to you people. Some of you people, oh, you're, you're afraid of spiders. Some of you free people are, are afraid of snakes. Some of you people are, are, are afraid of, of, a, of a ostrich just. Some of you people are, are afraid of, of a drowning. Some of you people are afraid of fire. Some of you people are afraid of murder hornets. Some of you people are afraid of gunshots. Some of you people are afraid of torture. Some of you people are, are afraid of being captured and raped and chopped up and cannibalized. Some of you people are afraid of losing your children, your parents. Some of you people are afraid of the dark. So the Lord's going to bring you people's greatest fears upon you. And if you're up to two thirds of our nation or if you're a heathen, you ain't got no cloak or protection from, from these different terrors that the Lord's going to bring upon you. The Lord's going to bring martial law on this country. He's going to bring a famine on this country where there's going to be a food shortage. People are going to starve out here. The Lord is going to bring plagues, disease, warfare on this planet. People is going to be thrown in concentration camps. Some of the Lord's elect is going to be beheaded, but they're going to be the first ones to be risen up when Yahweh our Lord and Savior, returns. When he makes his second return. Man, I'm so fucking angry right now. My hands is shaking. I, man, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Man, Lord's will, if not this, Lord's will, this is the year this country goes down. The drain. So back in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16, continuing on. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. So soon our predators are going to be the prey. And soon you're going to have chains and shackles on you. You, you heathens are going to have chains and shackles on you. And, and, and your asses are going into captivity. Oh, boy, especially you East Indians, man. You you dudes do not know how to take a shower. I, I ain't going to, Lord's will, if I'm of the elect, I ain't about to be dealing with, with, with some smelly, some 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 cheese smelling, old mercury, shitty, shitty ass diaper smelling, smelling uh, East Indians. OK, you, 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 you going to baby you, you go. I'm on. Yo, y'all, 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 y'all is. Hygiene is going to be the number one priority amongst you East Indians, man. Smell like some old baked beans and, and green eggs. I ain't having that shit in the kingdom. I better not catch one of my slaves smelling like that in the kingdom. Or you, you getting your ass whooped with my bare fist. Now I'm talking about in the kingdom of heaven. You, you, you and Ham. Ham, Ham just naturally stink. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 16. No, Galatians, chapter 3, verse 16. No, wait a minute, hold on. Hold on a second. Where is that at in Galatians? Hold on a second. Bear with me for one moment, please.
Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Oh, that's Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay, in the kingdom of heaven, the, these heathen nations, they're going to see our true glory. They're going to know that we are the true children of the heavenly father and his son. We are the true children of the heavenly father. They're going to see that. Man, I'm telling you, when, when Yahweh shot come back and his elect men get beamed up and they come back down from, from out that chariot with those glorious bodies, man, oh man, it's going to be a, man, it's going to just, just Yahweh shot's return alone is going to be a beautiful day. Man. I'm probably going to be crying tears of joy, man. If if I'm even still alive when that day comes, I'm going to be crying, crying, crying for tears of joy, man. I'm going to be calling on Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to be praising Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Lord's will with, with tears of joy, man. So I'm, man, I'm going to be so fucking glad to get the fuck about this kingdom. And of course, of course, I'm going to be trembling in that day because, of course, I mean, if I'm still alive, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in the presence of Yahweh hoping to be delivered. And Lord's will, I do get delivered. I would love to be a part of the elect. Just so I can fuck these heathens up. Ooh, excuse me, I had to let that out. But it felt good saying that. You heathens are worthless. Isaiah. Chapter 40, verse 17. You know what? I'll start at verse 15. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations, when it says the nations, it's talking about the heathen nations. Okay? If you're not an Israelite, which will be a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, if your father's lineage on your father's side does not go back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian, you will be a heathen, and you will be of the heathen nations. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations, the what? The heathen nations are as a drop of a bucket. When you got a full bucket of water and a tiny little drop falls out the bucket, are you going to be concerned with that little drop? Are you going to be running back, you know, a, a, as if a, a piece of gold fell down the drain? Oh, no, 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 no. No. If a drop falls from a bucket... You ain't gonna be concerned with that drop. You gonna you gonna look back like Psst. you'll probably eat, you'll probably even eat even you'll probably even spit on that drop of water. So I'm gonna read it again. Isaiah chapter forty verse fifteen. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. A dust has no weight on a balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing, 
and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations, all heathen nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him. They are counted to who? They are counted to the heavenly father and the son less than nothing and vanity. So the heavenly father and the son, they looking at you heathen nations like, like you're a drop from a bucket. The heavenly father and the son, they're looking at you heathens of these heathen nations as nothing and less than nothing and vanity. And guess what? The Lord's elect feel the exact same way about you heathens. This scripture pretty much speaks for itself. Numbers chapter 35 verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood it defile of the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay, that's self-explanatory. Who shed the blood of the nation of Israel on this land. The nation of Edom did. So in the kingdom of heaven, their blood is going to be shedded. And that you, and you see, that's when Israel is going to get their true justice. That true justice is going to start with when Yahweh makes his grand return in this generation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Who let the nation of Israel into captivity? The nation of Edom did. Who, who, who has killed the nation of uh, uh, Israel with the sword? The, the uh, genocide of the so-called North American Indians, the uh, Taino Indians, which are the Puerto Ricans, the Seminole Indians, which are the, uh, the Reubenites, or the Reubenites, which are the Seminole Indians, the Aztec Indians, which are the, the, uh, Mex the so-called Mexicans, okay, the uh, Guatemalans, the Argentinians, the, the Uruguayans, the Colombians, the Cubans, the Dominicans, the Haitians, the so-called Negroes, the, 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 the Jamaicans. Okay, who killed off our nation with the sword? The Edomite, the, the, the nation of Edom did. So guess what? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Okay, Israel is going to get their true justice when Yahweh Shai returns. And, and in the kingdom of heaven, the nation of Israel is going to definitely get their true justice. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.